Hello, what's up? Once again, this is Ali, and today we are going to have a reminder before we jailbreak our PS3, and that is to verify if the Bluetooth module of our PS3 is working properly. So, how do we verify that? Well, if your controller can connect wirelessly, like this one, so I can control my PS3 without any USB cable. But if your PS3 or your controller can only work with a USB connected between them, then uh, its Bluetooth mode may have been busted. And if you try to uh, install any firmware on your PS3 with a busted uh, Bluetooth module, then you will definitely encounter this. This is the update loop where the PS3 will get an error and will repeat the update and the error in the loop until the issue is fixed. So this is very important before we do uh, any updates on our PS3. Otherwise, uh, your PS3 will be stuck on uh, this state and you won't be able to use it until it is fixed. And unfortunately, you, there is uh, no uh, software fix for this one. You have uh, to bring uh, your PS3 to a technician and have uh, your Bluetooth fixed. Here in the Philippines, it usually costs around 1500 for the repair. And in case uh, your PS3 is already stuck with this loop, unfortunately, there is no bypass. Unless if your PS3 has uh, already a CFW installed or custom firmware. So how do you know if your PS3 has a custom firmware? Well, uh, you'll know that if your PS3 can install or has the package manager or you can install any package without any use of hand. So if your PS3 already has a CFW, then uh, you can look for a firmware that is uh, designed for PS3 that has no Bluetooth. So I will uh, just leave a link in our description where to find uh, this firmware. And here on this link, uh, you will find here a firmware that is designed for PS3 that has no Bluetooth. So you will have to use this or in case you have a busted blu-ray drive then you will have to use this if if you have a both then you will have to use this uh, we already have a lot of videos how to update your psc so we'll just leave another link on our description please go ahead and check that if you want uh, to install any firmware on your ps3 but uh, again this will only work if you have a cfw installed if you have an official firmware or hand unfortunately there is no bypass so you will have to check your Bluetooth first before you try to install any firmware on your PS3. Otherwise, you won't be able to use your PS3 unless the Bluetooth module is fixed. So this is it for our video. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns regarding our topic, please go ahead and let me know on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, this is Ali. Don't forget to hit that uh, like and subscribe and see you on our next video. Bye-bye.